Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'll show you how to use the Apple Game Porting Toolkit with Crossover 22. This will allow you to play a whole bunch of awesome games in Crossover, including DX12 titles like Elden Ring and Cyberpunk. In this video, we'll be using Crossover and CX Patcher to play these games, but just know there are other solid options out there as well, like Whiskey or running the Apple Game Porting Toolkit directly on Sonoma. Let's start. So since the Apple Game Porting Toolkit only works with Mac OS Sonoma, the first step is to get Sonoma up and running on your Mac. Make sure you know the risks of using beta operating systems, and at the very least, make sure you back up your Mac before installing Sonoma. If you need help getting Sonoma up and running, check out the link in the video description. Once you're running Mac OS Sonoma, we can get started. So first we're going to go to our web browser, and we're going to Google Code Weavers. Click the top link, click crossover, click Mac OS, and we're going to hit free trial. Scroll down, you're going to put your name and email and then hit download trial. Once the download is complete, we're going to go to finder and then our downloads folder. Double click the crossover.zip to unzip it, and then we're going to drag the crossover application into our applications folder. Next, we're going to find Crossover in our Applications folder, right-click it, and hit Open. I already have some apps installed, but if you're using a fresh copy of Crossover, you won't see any of this. So what we want to do next is to install Steam, and we do that by creating a Steam bottle. So in the bottom left-hand corner, click Install, and either search for or click on Steam. Then hit Install. Hit Yes. Next, accept, and next, next, and install. Then hit finish. When the Steam setup window comes up, hit next, choose your language, and install. Then hit finish. Once Steam is open, log in, and once you're logged in, we're going to quit Steam and crossover completely. Once you're sure that Crossover is completely quit, we're going to download CX Patcher, which will allow us to patch Crossover with the Game Porting Toolkit. So we're going to go back to our web browser, and we're going to Google CX Patcher. Click the top link to go to Italamandara's GitHub. We're going to click on Releases, and you should download the most recent version available. Right now, it's version 0.2.17. So scroll down a little bit and click cxpatcher.app.zip to download. While we're here, let's look at this picture. It says, I will not ask code weavers for support or refund. This means that once you use cxpatcher to patch crossover, you should no longer reach out to code weavers for tech help. Using cxpatcher completely voids any support that code weavers can give us. So please make sure to be mindful of that. Once the download is complete, we can go back to Finder and go to our downloads folder and we're going to double click the CX Patcher zip to unzip it. Now that we have the CX Patcher application, we're going to right click it and select open. So let's quickly read the warning. This is an unofficial patching program for crossover and code weavers is in no way involved in its development. Although it has been tested, the software may render your crossover installation unusable or unstable. Use at your own risk. Use of this patcher will also avoid any official support from code weavers. If you face any issues after your installation has been patched, you may download a new copy of Crossover from the CodeWeavers website. CodeWeavers doesn't support patched or modified Crossover apps. Please type, I will not ask CodeWeavers for support or refund, in the input field below. Once you type it, you can hit agree and proceed. So now we have our CX Patcher app ready to go. The first thing you're going to want to do is click download GStreamer. GStreamer will allow us to play games that require Media Foundation. So when the download is complete, we're going to go to our downloads folder we're going to right-click the package and hit Open. 
Hit continue, continue, and agree. Make sure to install for all users of the computer and hit continue, then install. Once the installation is complete, hit close. Once we've installed the GStreamer, it's time to download the game porting toolkit. Go to your web browser and click the link in the video's description to go to the Apple developer page. Log in with your Apple ID and on the more downloads page, we're gonna scroll down until we see the latest version of the Apple game porting toolkit. As of right now, the latest version is 1.0.2. Click view details and then click the link to download. Once the download is complete, we're gonna go back to our downloads folder and double click the game porting toolkit DMG to mount it. Once it's mounted and you see this window, we're gonna go back to CX Patcher and we're gonna to toggle on Integrate D3D Metal. Then click Locate GPTK Drive. In our sidebar, we're gonna select the game porting toolkit that we just mounted and click Open. Now we're gonna to go to our Applications folder, find your crossover application and drag it into the CX Patcher window. Next, we can close Crossover Patcher and launch Crossover. Once Crossover is open, click on your Steam bottle and toggle DXVK on and then off again to make sure that the patch is applied. You only need to do this the first time after patching Crossover. Double click the Steam icon to open it. I'm gonna to go to my library and I'm gonna find the game that I wanna download. Then hit install. While that's downloading, let's go back to Crossover and click on our Steam bottle. When DXVK is toggled off, Crossover will use the Apple Game Porting Toolkit to run the game. When DXVK is toggled on, Crossover will not use the Game Porting Toolkit. So I want to use the Game Porting Toolkit, so I'm going to toggle it off. So now that the download is complete, we're going to hit play. Oh, don't look up. We need to get to the top. I'm sure we'll make it. I wonder what awaits us there? The unknown is frightening. <laughs>